most of you have sort of come to the bright side. You realize that iPhones are really no longer where it's at. Um, there are some diehard iPhone junkies that I know who have definitely gotten, you know, the new Galaxy Note, um, such as myself, uh, the S3. Um, I, previous to this phone, I had the S2. So just, you know, I never really was an iPhone person. But, and I'm very familiar with the OS. I just know that there are things that you can do with the Samsung phones that iPhone people just, it's like they're completely shut out to really just understanding what Sam, what the um, Samsung Androids can do. So they just are not open to it. And then when you finally put them on, they realize that, you know, all this time they really did have an inferior phone. One of the things people seem to miss the most, understandably so, about having their iPhones are the emojis. There are ways on your Android phone that you too can see emojis and also send them. When someone with an iPhone sends an emoji through a social network such as Twitter or Instagram, you'll be able to see it, but you'll be able to see it with the, the Android icons. That's the only sort of drawback that has come from that. And for those of you who can't see them, it's because you do not have the latest um, upgrade of um, Android software. Uh, we can get into that into another video. This video is specifically tailored towards people who at least have Android um, ice cream sandwich or a jelly bean and can upgrade their OS at least. And as far as upgrading your OS, like I said, this is for another video. But right now, we are specifically talking to people who have the capability to install the um, particular program I'm talking about on their phone. So when it comes to emojis, um, my favorite program to use is Go SMS. So what you need to do is go to the Play Store on your phone. So in that sense, just whatever applications menu for whatever phone that you um, possess. In my case, I have the Note. So I'm just going to be talking as if I'm talking to someone who has the Note or the Galaxy S3. So if a person goes to, um, to Apps and then you go to the Play Store, provided it's not on your shortcut menu, let's say. When you go to Search, just go to Search for, just even just press Emojis. That's enough. I want you to install Go SMS Pro, and Go SMS Pro is it's a way that you can actually um, you can force uh, the sort of stock Android uh, themes. You can force them into into different types of themes on your phone. So even if you want your your if you want your phone to look like your old iPhone, you can do that. There are different skins for that, so it allows you to do that. But in addition to that, I want you to install Go SMS Pro. I want you to install Go Keyboard Emoji Plugin. And I want you to install Go SMS Pro Emoji Plugin. Once you've installed these three things, what you'll do is you're gonna go to, and in my particular phone, with the Galaxy S Note, I'm gonna go to Settings. And from Settings, I'm gonna go to Language and Input. And from Language and Input, I'm gonna make sure that Go Keyboard is checked. I'm gonna go to the little tool um, symbol and make sure that it's you know that I've chosen it and that I've switched to it. Your text messages, what you'll notice now is that when you go to the smileys, it, there are some smileys that you see that were never populated before in your stock Android, um, you know, on the stack, uh, stock Android system. But on the lower corner, you'll also notice that there are emojis there that you remember from the iPhone, you know, the iOS operating system. So these are all the same emojis that you saw. You can actually use these. So a lot of you guys want to use these same emojis when you're tweeting as well. So what you can do, this is a shortcut that I've come up with. Even though technically you can't see them on Twitter because of, you know, obviously there's a difference there with um, the iPhone. Your iPhone friends will be able to see them. And what you can do is you can actually use the text box in your text messages to type out all the emojis and everything that you want to and send that message on Twitter. Everybody that has the emoji capabilities, so all your friends with the iPhones, will be able to see every single one you put on there. So if you want to put, you know, hand clapping, footprints, the girls dancing, the little boo-boo pile or whatever, I mean, that's up to you. But um, when you do that, you'll now be able to use emojis as an Android user. And that's it. So I hope this video was helpful. And um, again, if there's something else that you guys need to talk about, like if you need me to simplify things or talk about something from something very basic to something very advanced, I'm willing to do that as well. Um, that's it.